This week in the news. An incident believed to be a murder-suicide in Ozone Park marked the first homicide in New York City in 2018. Police discovered the body of Stacy Locknaff, 26, in her home shortly after 1 p.m. on January 1st. At 11 a.m. that day, police discovered the body of a man hanging from a tree in Forest Park. Police later determined that the man was Vishunan Locknaff, the victim's husband. Although police believe that he murdered his wife, the investigation is ongoing. In other news, Mayor Bill de Blasio, City Controller Scott Stringer, and Public Advocate Latita James were sworn in to their second terms in office on New Year's Day. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders was on hand to swear in de Blasio and spoke about the divisive nature of governance in Washington, D.C. Quote, in this country, our job is to bring people together with love and compassion and to end the divisions and the attacks that have taken place. During his speech, de Blasio vowed to ensure that New York would remain a beacon to our nation. And the mayor announced that the first of Rikers Island's nine jails would be closed this summer. The city's Department of Corrections will shutter the George Machin Detention Center, which houses approximately 600 men. The mayor's office reported that the closure would not result in the layoff of any DOC uniformed staff. Quote, this announcement is an important step in our plan to close Rikers Island and create more community-based facilities to better serve people in custody and our hardworking correctional staff, the mayor said. And those are the top stories this week in Queens. This week's Queens Tribune News video is sponsored by New York Community Bank.